Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a basic set out and formatting of a Microsoft Word document when writing a technical, a technical report. Um, this is useful on professional level, university level as well as school level and I found, found this very useful to do at the start of a report because it saves you a lot of time and effort during the end to get your formatting right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly do page numbering, how to correctly insert a table of contents. I'm going to show you how to do referencing as well as table of figures. So let's get started. So firstly, I want to do is get my page numbering right. So a basic report is basically three sections. First one is your cover page or your front page. Second um, section will be your introductory section which will be your abstract and your table of contents as well as your list of figures. And the third section will be the body of the report where all your information and appendices are listed. So I'm going to show you how to break your document into three sections and then do page numbering. So firstly I'm going to go to page layout and breaks you see next page into the section break and start and the new section on the next page click that so I have two sections and I'm going to need another so I'm going to say next page again so now I have three sections I'm just going to put on my first page cover slash front page so I know which is where and now I want to do my page numbering so I'm going to go to insert and you see the option for page number and you can select any one of the two top or bottom it doesn't make a difference I usually pick bottom and you say plane number one or plane number two and you see section one is number one section two is number two and section three is number three so I'm going to start with section three just a bit easier. I'm going to click on up inside the header or the footer area. You can see I can um, type there, so I don't want to. You sh first thing you must do is unclick link to previous because you don't want the section to be linked to one another. So uncheck that and then right click on the number. Okay, select the number then. Right click format page numbers and say start at 1 that will be fine and you see it changes to 1 New section 2, this one I want to do Roman numbering I'm going to click again, uncheck link to previous and then right click format page numbers say start at 1 and you can say number format is you can click any one you want, I'm going to use Roman numbering and then say ok and then my first section page number is going to click and backspace and it's gone because I don't want a number on my first page so yes that is the first section of this video how to do page numbering I'm going to say close it and footer and you see cover front page no page number and then second section number I and my third section number one and as you continue I'm going to show you I'm going to type here and just enter to create a new page Wait a okay there's see it creates ii and doesn't jump to an iii and doesn't jump to one so that's why section is very good I'm gonna delete those pages for now otherwise I have to scroll too much okay so next thing I want to show you is how to insert table of contents. I'm going to click on the top of my second section and say references and click table of contents. You can click any one you like. I usually click the second one and there it is created table of contents. Okay. And I don't have any content in the moment, but we'll get to that shortly. So next thing 
I want they on page, not page I. I'm going to scroll to page one, and I want to um, start my report by with an introduction. So I'm just going to select heading one, which is in the home tab. Select heading one, and just write introduction and enter, and you see if you click there, it's on heading one, and one two click enter or press enter it jumps to normal again. These headings you can format, just right click on them and say modify. And you see you can modify them and if I uncheck bold it will change the headings I already have created. So it's very useful to format from your report on a later stage. I'm just gonna put my bold back. So there's my introduction. Nextly I want something like topic one And let's say I want heading two, which will be subtopic one. And let's see what happens in the table of contents when I update it. So I just created these and put let's put something there, some gibberish and other gibberish and some more gibberish. And let's scroll up and update our table of contents. See table of contents. You can click update table and it updates the table. But you can format this as well. Click or press enter there. And you can select the heading and also make it heading one. This makes your report more uniform. And you can also see it automatically indents topic one and then indents subtopic one. That's very useful and it looks very neat. Yeah, so that's headings as well as Roman numbering. And I'm gonna for to be complete, I'm gonna write conclusion. So nextly I wanna show you how to do referencing. So at the end of my conclusion I'm gonna say references and say bibliography. Let's the second one, you can pick the first one as well. Just wait for it to load. References. So no sources in the current document. We're going to change that. So I'm just going to go to manage sources. And this pops up. I'm going to create new source, website, corporate author, dummy Okay, and you see it's added there, dummy dummy one one. And I'm just gonna say close because it's already created. And now I can like the table of contents, I can say update citations and bibliography, and there it is. I'll say enter. You can also format this the way you like it. And another thing I want to show you is citations. Let's say I've written something there and I want to put a citation in. Just go to references again and say insert citation. And you can select the one from the list that drops down and say dummy. And then it's automatically done for you. Also, you can select the style of referencing you want. I generally use the Harvard method, but you can pick something else on the drop down menu. So, lastly, I want to show you how to do tables of figures and table of tables, or list of, ta of tables. But first, to show you that, I'm going to need a table. So let's say insert table. So that will do. And then you select the table. And again, go to references. And say insert caption. And this thing pops up. You can select the table. Insert table 1, sample caption. Okay. 
And as you can see, my caption was created on top of the table. Link. And now I want to list um, all the tables in my document or my report. And then go to the bottom of table of contents, click and say insert table of figures. You can alter something there, caption, label, whatever, and say OK. And automatically table one, sample caption, and you can see page one. I usually just also put a heading on top of that. Looks better. I'm gonna say this of tables. And now this is the same thing for figures. You can also insert caption for figure and create a list of figures in the same manner. So yes, I will upload this template on the Google Drive. The link will be in, in the description. If you have any problems, you can just use this template I've, I've already created for you. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you.